Um, okay, I'm going to start off with a piece that I have pretty much uh, memorized. Um, I think, and if not, I can get my get my uh, device out. And um, I'm a really big uh, Patti Smith fan. Um, and I've done this. I, some people in here will have heard this, but I did. I uh, I was homeless for a summer before I came uh, to uni. And with my last like twelve pounds in the world, I found myself in this bookshop, um, stressing that I had no money. And I looked up, and Patti Smith's face was staring off me, uh, at me off this book called Just Kids, uh, which is a memoir she wrote. And what I found out very recently is that she had a similar experience when she was homeless um, for the summer of, I think, 1968, when she was in New York. And the book there was a, a really great book by a, a writer called Albertine Sarazan. Um, but this is sort of the poem that came out of, of that realization. And I'm going to try and do it. Mama grew bad flowers out of her butt cheeks, tack a tap rhythm running a train track through cotton panties. She found me in the street, the way Albertine found her, the way Jean Genet found her, the whole bastard ancestry of rock star poets going back to God herself. And now God is chucking oysters at the deli, watching the sweat hiss down salt arms till it evaporates halfway to the ground. Mama, I've got a belly full of poems and a demon on my back and all the demons come with backups, show them a cruciform and they'll reboot. Mama, they raped me by the station. Mama, they chained me to the earth. Mama, my body doesn't fit like it used to. And I've been to sleep at night thinking I would die. And I've been to sleep at night wishing I would die. And I've been to sleep at night woke up in Père Lachaise breathing bone dust. Mama, where were you in the night? Where was your holy voice and your wrists that look like mine? Where were your rings, wings when I needed them? Mama, I have seen the face of God, and she is awkward. White shirt, boy elbows, scented urchin, car crash outfits. Mama, thank you. You taught me rough and weird and urgent. Mama, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Um, I wasn't expecting actually to do a set um, because Keeper Keeper very generously gave me some extra time. Um, so I'm relying on I'm relying on some other stuff. Um, and this is a poem I wrote. Called Michaela Abaddon. Her name is Michaela and I love her. She lives in two rooms. She has a vintage necklace, a CD player, man hands, bad dye jobs, fillings, a trench coat, an acetate layer, a tattoo of a hummingbird. When I ask her why she loves me, she answers, beer. When I ask her what she wants from me, she answers, politics. When I ask her to write me poetry, she says, burn, earn, yearn, Wichita. One of these things does not belong. When I mummify my words in her notebook, she opens her legs. When I try to touch her, she closes them. When the birds fly past her window, she reaches for a potato gun. When her mother calls me from the hospital, I am polite enough to be sober when I show up. When I get there, she is making elephant's noises and tattooing herself to look like a Rubik's Cube. I say, hello, lover. She says, dear. I say, hello, lover. She says, I'm so fucking thirsty. I say, I know that lover. I can tell by your eyes. Um, so, as you, some of you will probably have noticed, we are doing a film thing over here. 
Um, and just for anyone who is uh, performing tonight who hasn't already seen me, we do need to get your consent um, if you want to be part of the film, which, judging by the, the uh, track record, will probably be released sometime in, I don't know, what, 2017? <laughs> Um, but if you are performing and you are happy for us uh, to film you, then please do come and see me. Um, the videos go up on YouTube, you can link to them. Um, they're pretty, pretty useful to me in sort of quite a things, so uh, do come and see me if you haven't already. Um, okay, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a, sort of a theme, really. Um, a lot of my mentors or people I look up to in the world of words um, tend to be women and I've, I've ended up unconsciously with a cycle of poems um, about these, these people in my life. So this is called uh, A Portrait of My Mother's as a Nation and it's dedicated to uh, the three women who helped raise me. I am five. My mother saved the planet one mile of tarmac at a time. I sit under a conference table in Cape Town while she shifts landscapes with every stroke of her pen. I am ten, and playing munchkin number three, I catch her eyes in the audience, face purple from held breath, and teeth as white as mountain tops. I am fourteen. We are at war. The tumors blow their backpacks in the tunnels of her veins. Foreign aid comes in the form of Bengay and bowls of broth. Chemotherapy uproots her forest and salts the earth. I am 18, living in England with an incense burner and too many DVDs. And I'm realizing that my mother's heartbeat was the first anthem that I never stood up for. Your lips, love. Write every word as us. <laughs> 